Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. All notifications if you want to be notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get into the energy of Cancer and then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs. So with that, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Cancer. So somebody is missing somebody they want to give them equal give and take or i feel like there's um or somebody may be regretting there may be some regret that they didn't give you equal give and take so that's what i'm feeling like with that so let's get into the energy of all 12 signs and see what's going on so what do we have beginning with aries please I'm going to go a little bit more in depth with these 12 signs, um, just so you guys are get, get a little bit more clarity. If you're dealing with an Aries, somebody is making a head over heart decision to cut something out for a long time. This has been a long time coming, and it has to do with somebody not speaking. They're, they're, they're not speaking. They may be... Um, I feel like for a long time, somebody hasn't spoken to somebody and so, because somebody made a decision to cut something out. So if you haven't spoken to an Aries for a long time, they made a head over heart decision to walk away from something, to leave it behind, to cut it out. So if you're dealing with a Taurus. I feel like they may be walking away from a faded offer. So something that that was faded, something that was meant to be. Um, but they're walking away from something that that was meant for them, um, an offer that was meant for them. They may have um, now, you know, we can block our own blessings. And that's kind of what this person's doing by walking away from something that was meant for them. If you're dealing with a Gemini. I feel like they're leaving something behind because of betrayal and they're starting some, they're starting over new. So moving on from betrayal. So somebody's moving on from some kind of a betrayal and they're going to have a new beginning of love and abundance. So I feel like they're leaving the past behind them. You're dealing with another cancer. Oh, there's a new beginning. Look at that. Cancer. You got an ace of swords and an ace of cups. So someone wants to speak the truth about how they feel about you and they want justice in the situation. So someone's going to come towards you and tell you they love you and they want they, you know, they want justice here. So someone's wanting wanting um they want this love to begin, is what I'm feeling. Good for you. Okay, so if you're dealing with a Leo. Leo is, um, they're making a decision. So they're, they're, they're trying to juggle something. They're juggling a decision um, that has to do with their wish fulfillment with you, Cancer. It has to do with their wish fulfillment with Cancer. You're dealing with a Virgo. Virgo wants a victory. They want to come back from the battle victorious. They've been holding on or holding back because of a new passionate beginning. I feel like this person is in their ego a little bit. So, because they want, they want a victory here holding on. They want to hold on, but it's for a new passionate beginning. So somebody's trying to, I don't even know if that's a passionate beginning at sexual. This could be ideas. It could be that they're trying to hold on and have a victory with some kind of an idea or something, a new beginning. This is a lot of thought process here with that wand energy. If you're dealing with a Libra, they're in a relationship with an Aries Leo or a Stag. But you got you got the King of Swords, which is Libra's energy, and the relationship between a King of Wands. Um, this could be a same sex relationship. This could be two masculine energies, whether one one female, one mask, uh, one male. Um, but it is a relationship between them and a fire sign. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like there's a lot of drama here. Somebody's trying to win at all cost in a family situation. 
with a harsh truth. So somebody's rushing in and they say something. They say something that's harsh in a family. I feel like it's a lot of drama, family drama. Like it's a constant battle in a family situation. It's kind of toxic. You're dealing with a Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Sagittarius is trying to move forward, but they're a little guarded. And they're single. So this is like this person's kind of guarded and defensive and moving on, single. So you have somebody who's just not partnering up right now because of, of, of having, a, they have a little bit of fight left in them, but they're, they're, they're kind of defensive. You know, they've got those walls up. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, this person is taking a leap of faith with a Aries Leo Sag. Um, I feel like they've come full circle. They've come full circle with something. They ended something to start something new and they're moving forward. They're literally moving forward with an Aries Leo or Sag. If you're dealing with a Sag, um, an Aquarius, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, there's emotional communication. And I feel like it has to do with jealousy. But they're at a crossroads. I've got to get one more on here. Because of deception. Yeah. There's there's emotional communication about the drama. And, and somebody's at a crossroads because of deception. So this person's trying to figure out what they need to do. Because someone feels betrayed here with the deception or lied to. Somebody could be lying about the competition. And there's emotional communication. So there is a lot going on with an Aquarius. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, Pisces is really getting some clarity about something long-term and committed and they're waiting. So they're waiting. This person's waiting. They're doing some soul searching, waiting, thinking about something long-term and committed. phone fail. Sorry about that. Okay. So let's get into the energy for cancer. Your energy cancer is that somebody may have some regrets about not giving equally to something, to a relationship possibly. So let's get into this. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for cancer. Hey, you have the devil first one out. Someone could be obsessed with the queen of pentacles and they're heartbroken. King of Wands. Has to do with somebody either working on their happiness, working and collaborating on their happiness. Someone wants to speak a truth and reconcile. They see things from a different perspective and they want a new beginning of love and abundance here. It's either an ending or a transformation with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So obsessed, Queen of Pentacles, heartbroken, King of Wands. Something's been going on for a long time. Somebody wants a victory here, and they're juggling or they're making a decision. Somebody's manifesting, manifesting justice in a situation to heal. Under the bottom of the deck, you do have something that's long-term and committed. So somebody's trying to heal a relationship. Um, but I feel like there's somebody. I'm going to get more clarity. You could be the wife here, Cancer. You could be the Queen of Pentacles. You could be heartbroken over an Aries Leo or a Sag. Let's see what's going on. Why is the devil here for cancer, please? Queen of Swords. Okay, so somebody is 
very strategic. They're not showing emotion. There's very cold energy. Very trapped in their head. Somebody is obsessing over a queen of swords. And they're very anxious, trapped in their head. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but somebody is obsessed with the Queen of Swords and they're very trapped in their head about this. Sleepless Nights, Queen of Pentacles. I just had the Five of Swords tried to flip out, but a relationship that you feel very trapped in your head about. Queen of Pentacles relationship, someone's very trapped in their head about. Heartbroken. Heartbreak illuminates the path is what I'm feeling like. I don't feel like you're, you're, you're heartbroken, but you're happy. You're not. Okay. So something that you're heartbroken and I feel like something's being illuminated to you and it has to do with which path you're going to take. You're being at a crossroads. So you're going to figure out what direction that you need to go in. Um, I do see, like I said, obsessed queen of swords is very anxious about a queen of pentacles relationship that they can't get out of their head. Um, this king of wands is blocking something faded. Now who was blocking? Taurus was blocking something faded. So this king of wands could be an emperor in a lower vibration, but this could be blocking or holding, you know, standing your ground. But I feel like they're blocking something that was meant for them. You have a lot going on right here, Cancer. And somebody here is working on their happiness. And the sun's here. They're, 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 the past is being illuminated to you in a situation. Past is being illuminated with the sun and the seven of pentacles. Um, you're working on your happiness, but you're, the past has been illuminated to you. Um, I, so... I need to get more clarity on what is going on in this. What's the judgment about? Emotional communication with the pre-empress. Okay, so that's you. And a truth being spoken. Someone needs the strength to speak the truth to their two of cups. Someone's looking at it for, at things from a different perspective, but they're not talking about it. So even though you're taking the time to look at something and evaluate something, Cancer, you're keeping it close to the chest. You're not speaking about it, right? There's a new beginning and somebody may be holding back from starting over or they may be holding on to start over. Um, so whatever this is, is, is. Whatever this is, is going to transform this King of Swords, Aries, Leo, or, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, to equal give and take in a situation. Whatever this is, is going to transform this person to giving you equal give and take. You have a King of Cups. Somebody's mastering their emotions about a family situation um, that may have ended so something new could begin. And moving on. Wow, boy, you have a lot going on. You literally have like three stories here. I got to get a summary for you guys to get this in a nutshell. So I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles, something's been going on for a long time, trying to have a victory for a long time. Um, somebody could have been trying to have a victory for a long time juggling two people. But you have somebody who's very guarded and defensive about the juggling, and it's going to end. Okay. So now I've got, I'm not even going to get to this yet. Okay. So you have I feel like this is you, Queen of Pentacles, pre-empress. Okay. I'm going to start with that. Well, first of all, you have a third party here. You have a toxic, could be toxic, Queen of Swords, feeling very trapped in her head, sleepless nights. Okay. She's toxic though. Okay, someone's obsessive, possessive, controlling, whatever this is. Um, then you have the Queen of Pentacles, the relationship that someone can't get out of their head, right? You have someone heartbroken, illuminating the path. The heartbreak's illuminating the path. Somebody is making a decision 
to work on something like the decision that they need to make is to work on a situation. Heartbroken, illuminating which direction that the heartbreak. This is what's motivating you. The heartbreak is motivating you to see which path to take to work on a situation. If you're going to work it out, you need to see which path you're going to take. Um, you do have a king of wands here um, blocking something faded. So this person may be blocking their own blessings, right? This is someone's blocking their own blessings. But you have ta somebody toxic here. You have could be a, a wife. Um, and, and this person is trying to work on something, but somebody's blocking the path. Um, but again, you're trying to work on your wish fulfillment. You know what you want in a situation. And I feel like with this, what's been illuminated is past how this person's been in the past. The past is coming back on this person because I, I see it here too. For a long time, they wanted a victory juggling, but being guarded about that juggling is, is, causing an ending here, uh, whether it's with you or them. But I feel like this judgment, I feel like there's somebody trying to, you know, an offer to reconcile with the pre-empress. So pre-empress and the king, the queen of wands, um, queen of, of pentacles. What I'm seeing here is, um, cancer, you might not even be with the person, um, that this is talking about because you're the one that they can't get out of their head and you're the one that they want to offer the reconciliation to, but you have this other person over here is toxic and obsessive. Okay. So they're obsessing over it. Somebody's trying to work on their wish fulfillment because this could be your person. It could be, um, could be the other person. It take it out resonates with you, but I do see that this person, whoever this is, may be blocking what's faded. What's what's meant for them right over here. You do have somebody wanting to speak the truth to their two of cups. So this person sees you as their soulmate. This could be an emperor in a lower vibration along with the empress, if that's, if that's the case. This is somebody that is seeing things, understanding, looking at things from a different perspective, but not speaking about it. And they may be holding back from starting over because they've, they saw something. They figured something out, okay? And then you have this person, I feel like is the king of wands here. Um, I feel like there's an ending or a transformation where this king of swords is concerned about giving equally. I'm going to get one more card on that one. And he's going to tell the truth. Uh, if, if this person breadcrumbed you, that also could be breadcrumbing. So this could be an ending of the King of Swords breadcrumbing with a harsh truth. Uh, or this could be a transformation of this King of Swords um, from them breadcrumbing with a harsh truth. So someone's going to speak a truth regardless, and it's this King of Swords. It's going to be a truth, okay? This person has to master their emotions about a family situation. This, this is come, something's come full circle here. So, and, and this person may be moving forward or moving on, um, but they tried to win. They tried to win at juggling. That's what the problem was. And they tried to do it for a long time, like leading a double life kind of thing. Um, I feel like they're manifesting justice here to heal. And I feel like they're trying to heal what I, it seems like with the queen, uh, with the queen of pentacles, empress, uh, pre-empress energy. You have that king of, of pentacles. You know, that would be a true match. This person is manifesting the queen of wands to move forward with a truth. King of wands. I, I, you know, this person can just see you as passionate. I don't feel like that they're going to the third party. I feel like this third party is, is just, um, trapped in their head because of whatever this person, this person's wanting to work on. They're trying to illuminate the path to find out how to work it out. I don't feel it's going to, I feel like this person has to master their emotions. They've come full circle and they're ready to move forward. And I feel like it's with this, this pre empress, but you have a King of wands. They may have manifested this queen of, of wands from the past, but that person has moved on now, right? And now they're going to speak the truth, king of wands. So this person may have manifested this person in the past, but the other person has moved on. I don't feel like they're relevant at this point. So you've got a lot going on here, Cancer, a lot going on. Um, I feel like with your person in this case, and most people don't want this person back, 
this person wants to try to fight to come back towards you, um, but they did you dirty and you know they did you dirty and you may be holding back from starting anything with this person because you realize what's up, right? You figured it all out, right? Your thoughts, you're thinking this through because you like your peace in happiness. You might listen to this person they're listening, they want to heal. They want to heal the situation. You might listen to them and see what they're 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 got coming towards you, but I don't know that you're going to accept anything. I feel like I'm you're calling bullshit on this one. Um, it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the the greatest um, or the highest energy of all. Playfulness. They're going to come in playful, wanting to to come back towards you. But look, they're very codependent. They're very codependent. Addictions are affecting their romantic life. This person may have drug problem, alcohol problem, chasing other women problem, chasing other men problem, whatever that is. You know, there's a codependency there, right? But a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. I feel like you guys need to talk it out. You do need to talk it out, but that doesn't mean you're going to take them back. Locked doors can now be opened. A new beginning in love, rejuvenation, and fulfillment. But I feel like darkness looms on the horizon. So even if you open the door and start something new, I feel like it's going to be the same old shit different day. So you're just going to, you know, um, let your intentions be known. Let, you, let this person know where you stand on this, on these issues that you guys are having. Because this person... Yeah. Interference. External party is intruding on this relationship. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Chemistry. The attraction you feel is mutual. Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. So I feel like you're, you're not going to take this person back. I feel like they may come back towards you wanting to. But I feel like you're not going to accept it. So, Cancer, I'm going to take this to the extended to get you some more clarity. So if this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you over in Vimeo for the extended.